YouTube, it is I Vermillion as always, and today we're taking a look at a game called That's Not My Neighbor. I think it's a game about being an imposter or something, identifying imposters, something like that. But we're about to see firsthand just how this game gets down. Okay, click to continue. There's, oh, there's codes, there's stuff, there's a lot of stuff here. February 1955. Jeez. Three, three, one, two. Okay, play. Let's just play. Um, arcade mode. I think that's what we want to do. The doppelgangers you let in don't kill you immediately, but at the end of the run. Get a score rank at the end of the run according to your performance. Possibility to find and complete the Chester's quiz. Okay. That's all we have unlocked, so we gotta play that. And we got a visual movie thing. Doppelganger Detection Department. The following short film is a production of DDD with educational lines. What the fuck? Hello! If you're watching this film, it's because you're the new doorman in your building. Your job is to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform into another person and impersonate them. Yeah, that's about right. But some are not too good at it and could cause, could generate imperfections. As we can see here to the right, you have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors. So it's a memory game. I'm not that good at those. Also remember to fill out your checklist for each neighbor. You can't miss any detail because it could mean death for you and your neighbor. Damn. This is the structure of your office. Now we're going to explain how it works. Sure, please do, please. I need the explanation. That's the security window. Don't forget to observe very well each individual who approaches. Sure, I can do that. Simple enough. On the right you have the folders with all the data of each neighbor according to the respective floor. So that's how we check and cross-reference who the hell is trying to get in. To fill out the checklist, take one of the lists in front of you. Okay. Receive documents from this hatch, so they can give me documents. Could they put anthrax on said documents and kill me? If you determine that the individual isn't a doppelganger, then allow them into the building with these buttons. Okay. So this is where we check data, this is them, this is documents, this is our list, this is letting them in. Otherwise, if you determine that it is in fact a doppelganger, press the emergency button and call 3312. What happens to them? Do they die? Do they get executed? To communicate with the DDD or any apartment in your building, use the telephone in front of you. Okay. Sounds good. Your job is really important, so make sure you do it right. I will, sir. You have nothing to worry about. I'm a professional doppelganger hunter. Finally, we congratulate the doorman of the month, Henry. That's Henry? It wasn't that he did an excellent job, but he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by doppelgangers. That's very encouraging. Be like Henry. But better, yeah. We'll do it better this time. You know how I get down. Not to worry. Okay, this is arcade mode, so I'm assuming it's endless. Welcome and congratulations on your new job. As you can see, the introductory film your job is to verify the entry of the neighbors, okay? Each day, there will be a list of individuals who will request entry to the building. It is possible that there are individuals who request entry and aren't on the list. In which case, you will mark on the checklist that they're not on the list and proceed to question the individual, okay? Also, you must verify that the ID card the, and the entry request are correct and have the respective DD logo. Don't forget to also check the expiration on the IDs. Damn, this is a lot of data. Remember, it's February 1955. I'm not gonna remember that. I wish you good luck. Oh, well, there's a thing right there. It's February 10th. Okay, floor one. Okay, good afternoon. Hey, buddy. This is your papers. Okay, it expires 1960, that's the first thing, DDD, Alf Capuchin, sure, what's this, F0304, I'm a resident in the building, I've come for my job as a lawyer, 
F03, right? Oh, four. Al Capuchin, yes. Big nose, prominent mustache, monocle, hat, round face. I think this is our guy. We'll go ahead and let you in, buddy. Oh, we gotta check it off. ID matches, appearance matches, entry request, and he is... Was he on today's list? Yes, he is. Okay. Everything checks out, buddy. I think you're good to go. Yes, everything's in order, buddy. I got you, man. Don't worry. He, he kind of looks like uh, Olimar from Pikmin, if you know that game. That game, or those games. Those games are goaded, by the way. They're all good. Like, one, two. Wait, hey, 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 come back. He just walked through. Oh, I had to close it. I had to close it before somebody could go. He just walked straight in. I probably am gonna die. <laughs> Hello, Dr. W. Afton, 1971, okay, looks good, F0301, he's a ph physicist, what happened to my papers, what, my file folder is gone, I don't know, wait, is it down here, oh, here it is, okay, Yeah, yeah, you're you're the right guy. We'll let you in, buddy. Your ID is good. Your appearance matches. Yep. Yes, sir. You you continue doing your job as a valuable citizen, my friend. Okay, that's open. Now we're gonna go ahead and close it. And this was what was this? No, this is when the guys are not who they say they are. And this is who we call. Hello. Okay, what is this? This is complicated as fuck. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't think they should have made this like this. I think they should have made it more simple because this is way too complicated. Thank thankfully, we don't have to use this right now. So, whatever. Okay. Oh, there's no... There's no date here. I don't know if you're the right person. Margette Bubbles. Let's see. F-02. I'm a resident of the building. I went out... My job is a seamstress. Second floor, third area, ma'am. Deviated left eye. What does that mean? Like a lazy eye? Is that what that means? Round nose and a big smile. Yeah, I think that's deviated, yeah. Okay. So here's the problem, ma'am. You, your ID does not do too good so let's check these you need a question yes what's wrong with your ID man? I don't see anything wrong with my ID you don't have the expiration date woman how do I tell you to do that thing and fix that I already answered your question how do I like actually question her there's no thing there. Okay, whatever. Let's let her in and just see what happens. Or do I need to call somebody? Three. Fuck. Whatever. You just, just come on in. Just hurry up. I believe that it's you. You gotta get your ID fixed. Next time, I'm not gonna be so lenient. Oh my god, this is the same person. <laughs> Somebody's... Somebody... Oh, fuck. I think I fucked up. Ooh, I think I fucked up big time. Oh, well, she doesn't have an ID at all. I live in the third apartment on the second floor. Okay. Yeah, all this matches up. The last one was a seamstress. You, you're not the right person, ma'am. Your ID is wrong. Your appearance is right. Entry request. What is... Okay, well... Yeah. I'm sorry, yes, I forgot to show my ID. I don't know, ma'am. My entry request. I don't see anything wrong with my entry request. Okay, so here's the thing, here's the deal, guys. We let the wrong person in, so we're gonna die. This seems to be the right person. Um, I should have just denied them because the ID was, had no date on it. 
but that's fine. So we're all gonna die, but I am gonna let you in because you can die with us. Wait, ID number one three. Oh, you can check the ID number two. One zero three two six eight. Let's see, one two three two six eight. One four five nine zero. One four five nine zero. Okay, yeah, this was the right lady. Damn, that other doppelganger was smooth, man. She was smooth with it, I'm not gonna lie. She deserves her props. Oh, look at you. Good afternoon, man. You you belong in an anime, man. Isaac Goss. 9, 1965. Are you on the list? No, sir. There's something wrong with this. F0202. I'm a resident of the building. My apartment is 02 on the second floor. Okay. I believe you, man. I'm gonna chin big nose. Okay. Apartment phone number 7332. Let's call that real quick, see if we can call that. Alright, we can't use the phone for some odd reason, so we're just gonna go ahead and check these things off. Appearance matches. You're not on today's list. Let's see. I'm not on today's list? I think there is an error. I should be on the list. Well, you're not on it. Look at the list again. Yeah, you're not on the list, man. You're gonna have to get out of here. Um, we're gonna call the police. Get you escorted out of the premises, sir. Okay. Somehow we got that to work. You contacted DDD. A group of agents has been sent to your building. Please wait for the cleaning protocol to run. Oh my god, they're gonna torch him. Is it running? <laughs> cleaning protocol completed. Double, double, double. You can continue your job, yeah. Thank you, buddy. A job that I don't even want. I don't know why I'm doing this. And what kind of post-apocalyptic... Alright, you, you don't look good, man. You look crazy. You're missing a nose. Yep, you're definitely fake. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of you. No questions asked. Oh wait, we gotta do this too. We I forgot. Um, that doesn't match. No, that matches. Okay, let's see what you gotta say. What do you have to say about not having a nose? Yeah. I was born without a nose. It's normal for humans to not have a nose. Get the fuck out of here. You're not getting by with that one, man. Let me go ahead and call the boys. Three. Three. Here we go with this shit. Three. 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 One, two, three, fucking go, go, goddamn it! Okay, we got it. This this phone is super buggy and glitchy. Hopefully that works though. You've contacted the DDD. Group of agents has been sent. Okay, we can skip all that. Let me start skipping. Okay, thanks, man. I will continue. We've got to get through all these guests here and make sure everybody's cool. What is his name? Steven Rude Boys? That's funny. Yeah, this matches. Get your hat off, though. Yeah, you look perfectly fine. He looks like an old Pokemon trainer. Oh, I see that. They're, that's father and son. That's pretty cool. Okay, sir. You're going to have to... Give me some papers, man. Um, yeah, your ID is cool. Entry request. Yeah. I forgot to show my entry request. Here it is. Okay. Let's just make sure. Resident of the building. I come from doing the shopping. Doing the shopping. F003. We're tired. Mustache. 
always wears a hat. Okay, he's wearing his hat. He smokes, he has the goatee. I think this guy's clear. I honestly think he's clear. What what reason do we have to deny him? Let's check the ID number real quick. Looks good to me. Okay, man. Um, we're gonna go ahead and let you in. But only this time will I allow you, your grammar to be that wrong. Because that was wild, man. Doing the shopping. It could be a foreigner. I, then again, I don't know what country we're in. Damn, you got some huge, massive lips. 1980, Slen, Schwertz. Okay, so far so good. Are you on the list? No, you're not. I'm gonna have some explaining to do, ma'am. You have a lot of explaining to do. Here's my entry request, okay. Am I not on today's list? Okay, she's a model. I think there's an error. I should be on the... It's what they all say. Until they come and they rip the flesh and bones off of our employees and residents of this fine establishment. F104, let's see. Oh, oh, wait a minute now. They're twins? They're both models. Okay, this could really mess somebody up. Um, so this is Celine. She's got the mole on that side. Yeah, it has a twin long neck. Okay, everything down here is the same except the mole. I think this matches. Let's see the ID number. Seven, eight. Okay. Ma'am, I think you're clear to go ahead. We can go ahead and, um, process you. Okay. Yes, I know that. We're gonna go ahead and let you in, ma'am. You can join us. But your twin, she's gonna get torched by the flamethrowers. If she doesn't pass. Not, not, we're not just gonna torture her for no reason. Okay, Mia Stone. 1978. Where is your entry request? And where are you on the list? You got, none of you guys are on the list. What is wrong with you? You got to be more professional. Okay, you, you gave me your ID. Um, yeah, you you gotta get, get it together, man. What's wrong with my eyes? Oh, is there something wrong with your eyes? Do you laugh? Okay, um, whatever. She's a teacher. F031. Oval face, thin eyebrows. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, that's... You, you're not the right person. Look at your eyes. Yeah. Oh, you, you gave yourself away. We didn't even have to do that one. Whoops, wrong one. Yeah, you're going down, ma'am. You're definitely not getting in. We're calling the people on you. Yep. We got her out of here. Okay. I will continue my job. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Let's get this over with. I got a long day ahead of me. I gotta go home. I gotta shower, eat, do everything. Arnold Schmidt. I'm a resident of the building. My apartment is one on the second floor. Let's see. Yeah, you're right about that. Okay. Five, one, two, three. Let's just give it a call real quick. Five, one, two, three. See, who, see who's up there. Should be nobody. Maurice Schmidt speaking. Is Arnold up there? He's not at home. Okay. This is the right guy. Your papers are looking legit, man. Everything's looking clean. We're gonna go ahead and process you for entry. Is that all we can do today for you, sir? Oh, wait. You're not. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. No, not yet. You're, you're wrong. You're not on today's list. We have to fix that. Damn, the checklist is gone. Okay, um... 
Whatever, just come on in. Your wife is waiting for you, sir. I would hate to leave her waiting. Okay. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way you're getting in, man. I don't even have to look at this. No. Well, yeah, you gave me an ID. Appearance is wrong. Entry request not there. You're on today's list, but there's some problems. What do you mean, man? A very normal third eye. What's that? Yeah, get out of here. I don't even want to hear it, man. You're gonna get this whole place destroyed. I wonder what they do. Do they eat us or do they just kill us? It's a very interesting thing. To have doppelgangers just ruin your whole apartment building. You can continue your job. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You always do the best job, my yellow friend. My yellow hazmat friend. What? Oh, here's a real guy. Unless they could send multiple duplicates. 1966. Stephen Rubeboy is a resident of the building. He's a pilot. Let's just check. Okay, no, he wasn't. He was third floor. Um... Yeah, okay, you're clear. You're clear, buddy. Go ahead. Go on in. Oops, I forgot to do all this. Whatever. Oh my god. Dude, you're not. Why do you have an eggplant nose? Roman Stalinsky. You're not on the list. Big nose, scar on the right chin, long face, one eyebrow, where's a hat? Um, four, eight, three, okay, well first, let's get this paper out of the way. If, yes, show me that right now. Public accountant, due to an emergency at work. Okay, Roman, I think this checks out, right? You do look like Frankenstein. And your wife looks like Frankenstein's wife. So we're gonna go ahead and let you in, just this time though. Would you be better with your identification, sir? All right. So what, we got like 10 people in already. That's a good start. Okay, your, your wife is here with you. Looks good, you just need to... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Stop doing that. She's not on the list either. None of you guys are on the list. Hey, I guess fuck the list then. We're not using the list then. Okay, the ID's cool, appearance is cool. No, no. Roger, Roger, yeah. Whatever, I'm tired of hearing that. Okay, that adds up. I feel inclined to let you in, man, because... Your husband just came through and he just said an emergency as well. So we're gonna go ahead and skip all the due process and just let you in. It feels good working hard. It feels really good. Okay, this is the real guy with the nose this time. Robert Ski Peachman, you are on the list. I don't need to see anything more, man. After seeing your doppelganger, I think that I think that you're the real man. Shoemaker. Let's make sure you are a shoemaker. Okay, you're what what floor were you on? F12. Um yeah. The shoemaking brothers. Yep, okay. Come on in, man. Come on in. The price is right. The water's fine. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude. I know who killed me though. We got four doppelgangers. Three, no. Zero neighbors died. We let three in? Okay. That's not bad. That's honestly not too bad. Let's go ahead and play again. Let's see if we can do better this time. Let's give it two honest attempts and see what we can do. 
Okay, now we got a much bigger list. We should see a lot more people. Good afternoon. Gloria Schmidt. Okay, I'm familiar with you. Let's see. I'm a resident of the building. My job is a banker. F201. Round face, mole on the right cheek, short hair, round nose. Looks legit, ma'am. I'm gonna go ahead and approve you. Wait, are, were you on the list? Yep, we're gonna go ahead and approve you. Everything is in order. Thank you for going so smoothly. We should do some lore crafting. Like, we should make lore for this game. If there isn't already any. Just for fun, like... Maybe it's... An AI apocalypse. And the AI... Has made, like... A new form of human. To fight with the humans. And take over. Like, like having somebody on the inside. I'm a resident of the building and I've come for my job as model F104. This is, this is the twin lady. Wait, wh which one? Which twin are you? Celine. Yeah. Are you on the list though? Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and let you in. Yeah, but the AI has made a new form of human that aren't fully human yet just like how the AI like photographs and stuff they don't uh, they don't really look fully real okay this is sister ID's messed up <laughs> super messed up you're on the list appearance matches no entry request you got a lot to explain man I don't see anything wrong well that's your problem you're not observant Ma'am, look, I would love to let you in, but you have no proper identification, so we're gonna go ahead and call the fucking authorities on you because you're a liar. Three, three, one, two. Let's have them guys come and handle this for us. You're a threat to public security. We need you gone. Okay, DDD. <laughs> Cleaning protocol completed. <laughs> I'd like to imagine this is like the last outpost of humanity. And all the doppelgangers have been... Oh look, see? The real one. Yeah, I'm gonna just let you in. Because we know you're real. Come on in, man. I'm going for zero flaws. In this game. Like, zero mistakes. So far, we're doing good. But yeah, this is the last outpost of humanity. And all the doppelgangers are like crowding inside. Or tr crowding outside to get inside. And destroy the last bastion of hope. For our humans. Angus Cipriani. Yeah, you're on the list. There's a mole here. That doesn't quite match up, sir. Zero three on the first floor. Yeah, that doesn't quite match up, my friend. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, call authorities on you. Three. Three. One. Two. Get out of here. Get out of here. Cipriani, isn't that like the name of the GTA... Liberty City Stories main character or something? If you know, if you know, you know. Like, I had the GTA... Liberty City game for PSP. That was fun, man. Who has who has a PSP out there? The PSP was like way too underrated. Like a portable PlayStation device. Like that the idea of having a portable PlayStation back then was like cutting edge. And it for all intents and purposes, it was an awesome console. I'm a resident of the building, my apartment is 01 on the first floor, okay. I remember you. You're on the list. You match up. Everything looks cool. Um, let's check the number first. Four, eight, three, nine. Okay, yeah, you're good, buddy. Come on in. Everything is in order. Come in. Yeah, but the PSP, man. PSP was raw. 
It, oh my god, no. Get out, get out. What's wrong with your eyes? Ew. No, no, get out. That's creepy as fuck. <laughs> That's creepy. Three, three, one, two. That's disgusting. She was like the creepiest one we got so far. Okay. Thanks, man. That was ah oh, ah oh, man. There's something called like tryptophobia or something like that, where things with a lot of small holes like really freak people out, and she would definitely freak somebody out that has that. Okay, man. Seamstress. Are you on the list? Yes. Uh. Big smile. Okay. Let me go ahead and clear you, Fantry, ma'am. You seem like a normal, honest, working human being. So go ahead, get get on in there. Yep, you enjoy. You enjoy. So these people just no, no. Go. What? What am I supposed to do with you? Let you in? Are you crazy? <laughs> you think that's gonna get... That disguise is gonna get you in here? I got another thing coming. I'm the last line of defense for humanity. You think that's gonna go? Oh, what, where's... Okay, the mouse kind of like flies off the screen in this game. If you have like duplicate monitors. So it's kind of doing that for me. Protocol completed. You can continue your job. I'll do that. <sighs> Kinda tired, not gonna lie. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Mia Stone. You're the reporter, if I remember correctly. No, you're the teacher. Are you on the list? Yes, you are. Yup. Yup, 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 matches up. You can go on in, ma'am. I don't see any problems. Please, come on in. Oh yeah, but back to the PSP, if y'all had a PSP or not. I had like the Star Wars, nope, you're a lie. Get out. Oh, get out. I don't even have to look at you that long to know that you're fake. You're phony. Your whole life is based on a lie. Three. What just happened? Okay, what's wrong? Three, one, two. Yeah, but I had the Star Wars PSP. And it was like all white. It had, I don't remember if it had Darth Vader on the back, but it was all white and it looked, it was nice. Nice. Cleaning protocol completed. You can continue your job. <laughs> but portable, like, gaming handheld consoles? I think the DS... No, no, no. The, did I already let you in? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your nose is wrong. Get out. Right now. Yeah, so the DS... is probably top five... The Game Boy, definitely top five. PSP, PSP, sorry. Top five. Game Boy DS, PSP. Um, what else is there? The Switch doesn't really count, because it's like a home console, too. And I'm talking about a specific group of consoles. Um... Damn, I don't think there's too many. I, there's a DS, Game Boy, PSP. I think really that's that's damn near it. Huh. In the comments, put down some more hand, handheld consoles, because I can't remember. I know there's a Game Boy Color, but we're not going to count that. Because I already said the Game Boy. Advance. Um. Wait, wh who are you again? Okay, you have no papers at all. So... 
How am I supposed to do this work? No, you're... Okay, I guess you're... Capuchin, I'm the resident. I've went out to visit my parents. Yeah, you look... Okay, well, your shirt doesn't look the same. There's a pattern on this one. F301. No, you don't live here. F301. You're, you're not... No. Get the hell out of here. I'd rather a neighbor gets killed than the whole building get killed. I'm being honest with you. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Every time. Alright, this is the real guy. Because the other guy had a mole on his face. Okay, with no papers, no nothing. You just think you can just waltz on in here. Huh? That's what you think? You people need help. Yeah, show me everything. Businessman, F103. You're a city slicker, huh? You're one of those guys. Mustache, small eyes, long neck, wears a hat. Okay, man. I'll bite. I'll, I'll play along with your games. You can come on in. But only this once. Next time, we're gonna have to feed you to the doppelgangers. Okay, you. You came in earlier, right? You were the first person to come in. Oh, one on the second floor. Round face, mole and neck white. Her ID number must be wrong. I remember letting her in, guys. I'm not am I I'm not crazy, right? She came in like the first person. Let me call upstairs. Let me call upstairs. Five one two three. Five. One. Two, three. Okay. Call's going through. Let's see. I know I'm not crazy. I let her in. Hello, Gloria Schmidt speaking. Yep, you're... Pardon me right now. Okay, say less. Say no more. Yep, you're going to hell. You're going to die. It's crazy. She got everything right. She literally got everything right. It's just the fact that... The other one came earlier. Oh, wait. The spelling must have been wrong. Gloria Schmicked. F20. Oh, no. The spelling was right. Wow. That's a pretty convincing doppelganger. I'm not gonna lie. She could have got me. Okay. Hmm. Hi or whatever. Anastasia Michelez. Okay, yeah, I hope I said that right. Um, I live here, or whatever. I come from the school. Okay. F024. Okay. I must be mom or older sister. Student, tired eyes, two ponytails, small nose, round face. Are we expecting you? Yeah. Okay, it looks fine. I'm gonna clear you for entry. Yep. Come on in, ma'am. I know you got studying to do and classes to pass. And e oh, what happened? We won. Perfect. Perfect game, right? Eight captured. Zero neighbors killed. Zero allowed in. Rank A. S. Awesome, guys. I knew we would get that. I knew we would get that. Let's go. Okay, there's no details. Okay. Well, that was our short doppelganger... Uh, wait, what's the name of this game? That was our That's Not My Neighbor experience. A nice game, a nice memory-based game. I love these kinds of games, especially the ones that kind of go easy on you, like this one, where you can check facts and stuff and not just solely rely on memory. But yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. You guys go ahead and give it a play if you want to. It was like $3 on itch.io. 
But with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I will see you again in the next one. Peace.